hello everyone welcome to this uh, amazing new tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use uh, uh, frequency domain for image processing this is one of the way we can interpret images uh, with the help of uh, Fourier transform and uh, like this one this is a special domain representation of the image and this is the uh, Fourier transform result from uh, this image to the output image so in this tutorial what we are gonna learn is we are going to transform the images into the frequency domain then apply inverse Fourier transform to get the original image in the similar way we are going to apply some filtering with the help of uh, uh, frequency domain filtering methods so this is the objective of our this session so let's begin first of all uh, we are going to use this uh, image as our input image as you can see here this image has uh, the dimension of 256 cross 256 and uh, we are going to apply some uh, frequency domain methods that is the Fourier transform in the MATLAB you can see here this there is a command FFT2 that is uh, applied to the image this what it will do it will apply a Fourier transform to the image and uh, we are gonna see what what would be the output so this this will convert the image into the uh, complex variables of the Fourier and then we are going to apply some log because uh, we know there are frequencies and frequencies can be in the form of kilohertz and megahertz and uh, to display that uh, value as an image we have to apply some log function that is log and we are going to use the absolute value of the complex variable so let's run this one so this is a Fourier spectrum of our input image and uh, all these are the points where uh, frequencies are represented and uh, we want to shift this point to the center for that purpose what we are going to do is we have to center the low frequency components and show the result so we apply uh, this function that is uh, FFT shift this is the frequency shift towards the center again then apply the log so we are going this uh, image representation of the uh, image as uh, in the form of frequency domain in the next stage what we are gonna do is we are taking this uh, uh, frequency domain representation and then going to apply inverse Fourier transform to the image so for that purpose we apply inverse FFT2 this is a basic command so we use this one and we are getting the same image that we have as the input so these few lines of code in which we first we apply some Fourier transform then apply some shifting because we have to uh, center the frequencies then we apply inverse Fourier transform and uh, display the result so this is basic uh, mechanism in the next stage uh, what we are going to do is we have to implement a filter we have to implement a low pass filter to the image using the Fourier transform for that purpose what we are gonna do is we have to make this filter this filter has the same dimension as the uh, input image 256 cross 256 and we have uh, uh, this cent circle center having the value 1 because we want to apply low pass filter so we will use this kind of structure for the image and as we know this is a filter and the our image has the same size so we apply these multiply these two things together and uh, filtering will to be applied to the image so for that purpose 
we have to use uh, mesh grid mesh grid is uh, a way to create that shape and we apply some thresholding like we have to uh, cut off all the frequencies that are not in the radius of 20 so this is the main uh, command in the next stage for filtering purpose what we are going to do is uh, we are going to multiply the image with the uh, with the filter that is this BW filter and let's see when we multiply all the values that are not in the circle of uh, radius of 20 all of them are excluded they are zero now and the frequencies which are inside the circle are present next we reconstruct our filtered result so this is the frequency threshold uh, image what we are getting from this one so so this is uh, a basic way of implementing a low pass filter in frequency domain uh, using Fourier transform so first you create a filter then you multiply with and then you reconstruct by applying the inverse Fourier transform so this is the complete implementation of uh, Fourier transform how we can use this uh, for filtering purpose thank you very much for your time if you have any question or query you can uh, go to the comment section and post your query there thank you very much